music box is a mechanical musical instrument that uses kinetic energy and turns it into sound energy. What, to understand how a music box converts kinetic energy into sound energy, first we need to understand a few components of the music box, starting off with the casing box. Inside the casing of the music box is a clock spring. It's a cord strip of steel that's 40 centimeter long, unwound. One end of it is hooked to the outside of the music box, while the other end is hooked onto the tip of the winding key that's underneath the music box. So when you turn the music box, it'll wind up the clock spring from within. Up next is the comb. The comb is a piece of steel that has 18 teeth ranging from low frequencies to high. The smaller the tooth, the higher the frequency. The taller the tooth, the lower the frequency. When turned over, you'd notice the thickness of the teeth vary. The added weight lowers their resonant frequency even more. Onto the drum. The drum is a little cylinder that is placed right in the corner of the music box. The little bumps on the cylinder drum are called pins. They are arranged in a certain order so when they hit one of the teeth on the comb, the melody of a song forms. And our final component is the governor. The rotation of the governor controls the speed of the music box. If there was no governor, the music would play rapidly and the timing would be completely off. But if there is a governor, then it will slow down using wind resistance, so the melody will be played at a slower pace. Now that we know most of the components, here is how kinetic energy turns into sound energy through the music box. When winding up the music box, the clock spring inside starts to build up kinetic energy. Once released, the gears start to shift, causing the drum to start turning. Then, the comb would start hitting the pins to create the melody of whatever song is playing.